This video is on filing of Form 10B for assessment year 23-24 onwards. Form 10B is the audit report which is required to be filed under Section 12A by Charitable or Religious Trust and under Section 1023C by Funds, Trust or Institution or any University or other Educational Institution or any Hospital or other Medical Institution to claim exemption under the Income Tax Act. Wide Notification No. 7 Oblique 2023 dated 21st February 2023 for assessment year 23-24 onwards Rule 16 double C and Rule 17 B of the Income Tax Rules have been substituted to provide that Form 10 B shall be applicable if the total income of the auditee will be more than Rs 5 crores during the previous year without giving effect to the provisions of Section 1023 C clauses 4, 5, 6 and 6 A and Section 11 and 12 of the Income Tax Act as applicable or if the auditee has received any foreign contribution during the previous year or the auditee has applied any part of its income outside India during the previous year. So if any of the above three conditions is fulfilled, Form 10B shall be applicable. Otherwise, Form 10 B shall be applicable. However, up to assessment year 22-23, audit report in Form 10B was required to be furnished by those charitable or religious institutions who were registered under Section 12AB of the Income Tax Act and Form 10 B was required to be furnished by those funds, trusts and institutions who were registered under different clauses of Section 1023C of the Income Tax Act. Before going into step-by-step -step process of filing Form 10 B, let us look at the prerequisites for availing this service. The auditee and the chartered accountant should be registered on the e-filing portal and both of them should have a valid username and password. The CA should have a valid digital signature certificate registered on the e-filing portal and that should not be expired. Auditee should have a valid digital signature certificate if applicable or an e-verification code. Auditee should assign the form to the chartered accountant along with the necessary documents. The process for filing Form 10B shall be that the auditee shall be first required to add a chartered accountant on the e-filing portal. After adding the chartered accountant, the auditee would be required to assign the relevant form, that is Form 10B, either through My CA functionality or through File Forms functionality. The CA is required to accept the request under the CA login and upload the form under CA login using the offline utility and submit using the digital signature certificate under the CA login. The form will thereafter be required to be accepted by the auditee and the auditee is required to complete the process of e-verification under the auditee login. Post filing of the form, the submitted form can be downloaded from View File Forms functionality for both CA as well as Auditee login. Let us now see step by step the process of filing Form 10B for assessment year 23-24 onwards in offline mode. You may refer to the offline utility user manual to learn more. The auditee is required to first of all go to the e-filing portal homepage and log in using the user ID and password. Post login on the Auditee's dashboard, go to e-file, income tax forms and then click on file income tax forms. You can search form 10B in the search box or you can click on persons not dependent on any source of income and scroll to form 10B. Please note that there are two form 10Bs which are available in this table. For filing Form 10B for assessment year 23-24 onwards, carefully select the Form 10B assessment year 23-24 onwards and for filing Form 10B for assessment years prior to assessment year 23-24, select the Form Tax Exemptions and Relief Form 10B. So when you click on the form, PAN will be pre-filled. You are required to select the filing type as original or revised. You are required to select the assessment year for which the filing is required to be done and then you can assign the CA and then click on continue button. If the CA is assigned by you already, details of the form pending with the CA for filing or acceptance will be displayed. If the CA is not assigned, you can assign a CA by choosing from the existing list of the previously assigned CAs from the drop down menu. In case no CA is added, you can add a CA by clicking Authorize Partner tab on dashboard. You can click on Authorize Partners. 
go to my ca and click on add new ca in order to add a new ca you need to add the membership number provided by icai and the name of the chartered accountant shall be picked up from the database click on add button and the request will be submitted successfully once the form has been assigned by the auditee to the chartered accountant the auditee can log out from the e-filing portal now the ca is required to log into the e-filing portal using the ca credentials on the ca's dashboard the ca is required to go to the pending actions tab and click on work list in the ca's work list there will be two tables for your action and for your information the ca can click on for your action and can see the form which has been assigned by the taxpayer ca can accept the request or reject the request once the ca accepts the request a success message will be displayed along with the transaction id the ca can take a note of the transaction id for future reference and then click on back to work list in the work list of the chartered accountant now the form will be available for upload so the ca can click on upload form against form 10b ca can check the details of the pan of the assessee the name of the assessee form number assessment year filing type and the transaction id please note that the form is only available for submission in the offline mode so the submission mode will be offline the ca can click on continue button since the form is available only in the offline mode the ca is required to download the offline utility and fill the form using the offline utility create a json file and then upload the json file created using offline utility the ca will also be required to attach the necessary supporting documents like the balance sheet and profit and loss account and then click on submit button in order to download the utility alternatively the ca can also go to the e-filing portal home page and click on downloads here the ca can download the utility for form 10b assessment year 23 24 onwards please note that the utility is also available for form 10b up to assessment year 22 23 for filing form 10b for assessment year 23 24 onwards carefully select the utility for form 10b 23 24 onwards utility will be available in the download section of your computer you are required to run the application once the application opens you would be required to click on file now here you have three options you can import the prefilled data which has been downloaded from the e filing portal or you can import the json which has been pre saved or you can decide to continue without a prefill if you wish to import the json you can attach the file here and you can also see the success message that the json file has been imported successfully then click on continue button now you can check the details of the pan the name of the taxpayer assessment year form type and the imported date and click on file form you can check the documents or information list which will help you in filing the form faster and then click on let's get started here you can download and read the instructions you can click on click here to download the instructions before filling out the form please note that it is very important to review the instructions before filing the form because only when the status of all the serial numbers in the table is completed schedule panels will be enabled for filling in the data you are required to enter the details of report from an accountant basic details and legal nature registration details and management object and commencement of activities details of the place where the books of accounts and other documents have been maintained advancement of general public utility business undertaking and business incidental to object tds on receipts voluntary contributions and income to be applied and application of income you can modify in case it is required after completion as you fill in each table the information will get saved and you can see the completed button please note that the enabling of schedules is dependent upon the selection of information in the given tables so if you select yes then only the schedules will get enabled enabling of some of the schedules also depend upon the amount filled in the other fields of the form so if the amount filled will be more than 0 then it will be mandatory to provide the details in the schedule now you can complete the schedules once all the schedules are completed you can download the json file 
Now the form is prepared in the JSON file. You can again go back to your e-filing portal. In the CA's login, now you can click on Upload Form. Once the JSON is uploaded, the form is required to be e-verified by the Chartered Accountant and then the Chartered Accountant can submit the form. The auditee will also receive a confirmation on the email ID and mobile number registered on the e-filing portal that the form has been successfully submitted by the Chartered Accountant. Now the auditee is required to go back to its own login on the e-filing portal. Post login, this time the auditee is required to go to pending actions and click on work list. Now in the auditee's work list, in for your action, you will see the form which has been uploaded by the chartered accountant. You can view the form, you can download the attachments, you can see the complete life cycle when the form was assigned to a chartered accountant, when it was accepted and when it was submitted by the chartered accountant. After reviewing the form, you can click on accept. Once you accept the form, you will be taken to the e-verify page where you can e-verify using digital signature certificate or through e-verification code. You may also refer to how to e-verify user manual to learn more. Once the form is successfully e-verified, a success message will be displayed along with the transaction ID. You can please keep a note of the transaction ID and acknowledgement receipt number for future reference. You will also receive a confirmation message on your email ID and mobile number registered with the e-filing portal. Let us now look at some of the do's and don'ts for filing the form without getting any errors for assessment year 23-24 onwards. In order to avoid errors in form filing and verification, kindly ensure to use the latest version of the utility for generating JSON. Also, please ensure that the PAN of the Audity Assessment Year, CA Membership Number and form filing type are correct. Please install the latest EM Signer and Embridge application in your system. Log in the DSC token. Please ensure that the profile and contact details are updated in Audity and CA login and check Local host eMudra is not blacklisted by the system admin. In case you still have any grievances on form filing, you can please send it to us on email address efilingwebmanager at incometax.gov.in and kindly ensure to provide the details as mentioned on the screen. Filing of Form 10B is very easy. To know more, you may visit www.incometax.gov.in or contact our helpline numbers.